do you know that from all of the artillery system, 120 millimeter mortar causes the most of the damage? Up to 3,500 pieces of fragments are counted. You're watching War is Algebra, and I'm your host, Daniel Savin. Watch this. One of the peculiarities of the war in Ukraine has been the widespread use of artillery weapons, playing a significant role in delivering firepower to the enemy are mortars, with the most common being the 82mm and 120mm calibers. They will be the heroes of this issue. Let's explore the role they play on the battlefield. This is the old and simple BM-37, a battalion mortar from 1937, though not new. Soldiers say it does a good job of destroying the enemy. It is not complicated to operate, although it is quite heavy. Like me. <laughs> Specifications. Caliber, 82 millimeter. Weight, 56 kilograms. Projectile weight, 3 kilograms. Length, 1200 millimeters. Barrel, recoil, sight, flight range of 3 to 4 kilometers. We hit the enemy's manpower and firepower means. The 82mm BM-37 mortar consists of a barrel, bipod mount, support plate, and siding devices. The command is given, coordinates are adjusted by the gunner. The inclination is set, and after the ready command, someone checks, and the loader loads the projectile, saying, here come the gifts. Weapon is not new, it can fire Western ammunition, not just Ukrainian. Czech, Polish, long range. According to technical specifications, four people are needed to operate the mortar, but these guys manage with three. Three people are enough to operate the mortar, one directs, one load, and the commander oversees the entire process. The BM-37 mortar can fire up to 30 rounds per minute. The maximum flight range of the shell is 4 kilometers. The BM-37 mortar can fire up to 30 rounds. Shot, recover, and another shot. It happens, shot, shot, shot. Maximum to avoid being seen from above. If they see you, wait for the gifts. Watch this. For more generous presence, the 120mm caliber mortar is used. It can affect not only live forces, but also armored vehicles. The 82mm works only against infantry. It won't do anything to armored vehicles, except it may damage vision devices if it hits the camera or equipment from the outside. However, this 122mm can destroy armored vehicles. This is a new mortar. Military personnel share impressions that it's good. It arrived in Ukraine as assistance from partners. We engage enemy vehicles and live forces. The mortar operates at a range from 500 meters to 8 kilometers. The blast radius of the 120 millimeters mortar ranges from 30 to 50 meters. Some mines have a radius of up to 70 meters. A margin of error and target accuracy is possible. According to standards, a mine may fall short or overshoot the target by 30 meters. The mortar can deviate by 15 meters in the firing angle. Specifications Caliber, 120 millimeters. Weight, 150 kilograms. Projectile weight, 13 kilograms. Length, 1500 millimeters. The mortar consists of a bipod, a tube, a plate, and a sight. This mortar can launch several types of projectiles. High explosive, but fragmentation rounds are more commonly used now. High explosive rounds are not used because they are for specific targets. And we don't have such targets since the enemy doesn't come close. But fragmentation rounds are relevant for infantry. A distinctive feature is that the projectile can be launched remotely. You can step back up to 10 meters, but before that, of course. The mortar must be loaded and the special firing mechanism prepared. You pull the cord, and it activates. 
When the mine descends into the mortar barrel, it first goes down to the very bottom. Here is a special cord that reaches a distance of 10 meters, and the safety mechanism goes into the firing position. Charging in the capsule occurs, and then the mine is fired. Watch this! And the heaviest artillery in this episode. The Polish self-propelled 120mm mortar rack on the chassis of the Polish APC Rosomik. It can hit targets at a distance of up to 12 kilometers. Rack can fire 6 to 8 rounds per minute with the 46 projectiles it carries. The deployment retraction speed is 30 and 15 seconds, respectively. Ukrainian soldiers are impressed, stating that the weaponry is indeed effective. Specifications Chassis Rosomik armored vehicle Caliber 120 mm Firing range Up to 12 kilometers Rate of fire 6 to 8 rounds per minute Ammunition 46 rounds Deployment speed 30 seconds Retraction speed 15 seconds The mortar crew consists of 4 individuals Commander, driver And specialists directly operating the mortar this is the Lotus place. Here are 26 spare mines. These are cassettes for spare mines. This is the magazine with loaded ones ready to fire. This is the carriage that feeds the mine into the barrel. Here, the gunner sits, here is the commander, and the seats. Rack can fire directly. This is achieved by the ability to adjust the position horizontally. This function gives Rack a significant advantage compared to conventional mortar systems. For shots per minute, 15 seconds reloading, and another shot. The mine speed depends on the weather. If the weather is good, no wind, nothing, 100% accuracy. But for such precise results, the vehicle must be set on a level surface. If it's not leveled, there will be a deviation, resulting in a miss. It needs to be set level. However, finding a place with zero degrees is challenging due to the terrain. Rack is effective against enemy positions in cover, such as trenches and bunkers as well as against exposed enemy forces. Rack is widely used when the enemy advances to prevent them from reaching the front lines. This is the carriage that feeds the mine into the barrel. To feed it, you need to unlock the carriage. To feed the mine, open the wedge. The mine is fed here. Then the wedge closes. When the mission is complete, quickly lock the carriage back. Computer equipment plays a crucial role in Rack. The Topaz system allows communication with other mortars and receives target data. All reconnaissance assets, the drones, reconnaissance vehicles, transmit information about target locations to a unified database that every mortar can use. After receiving the data, a shot is made with a guided mine, which accurately hits the target. The frontal armor of Rack protects the crew from a 13.5mm armor-piercing machine gun, while the sides can withstand a 7.62mm shot, so the crew is safe. However, on the road, the guys can't see anything, says the driver. Visibility ahead, only he understands. When you sit in this vehicle, you feel comfortable. Everything is designed for the driver. Otherwise, for the guys when you close yourself with hatches, it might be a bit scary because you can't see what's happening around. Rack has a six-cylinder turbocharged diesel engine with a volume of 11.7 liters and water cooling. The engine is combined with an automatic transmission with seven forward gears and one reverse. With a maximum speed of 100 kilometers per hour, the driver says it's like driving a car in the field, as comfortable as in the city. It has air conditioning, heating, dual zones separately for the turret, separately for the vehicle itself. The engine has 400 horsepower. It has many different gadgets like cars, adjustable glass, heating, tire inflation, from bullet holes up to 5 millimeters. So in such situations, you can always get to the place of deployment. 
To a significant extent, Russia's aggressive war against Ukraine near the borders of the European Union has turned into a bloody artillery contest. Ukrainian soldiers fight with everything they have because they want to repel the enemy from their land as quickly as possible. However, the more advanced the weaponry, the more effectively it destroys the forces of the occupiers and preserves the lives of those standing on the side of truth. I'm Daniel Salem, and remember, war is algebra.